Hey guys, it's me, Sean Capri. Everything seems to be in working order here. Let's go ahead. You may hear the toilet still refilling itself. I just went to the bathroom just really quickly, just because I drink so much pop. But I wanted to, oh man, I could have probably got off through all this stuff at the start. All the talking and the loading. Obviously, we're going to be playing Splatfest Team Mikey. Hello, Jonathan. It's good to see you, my friend. How about this little angle? Maybe we'll maybe we'll back this off just a little bit. Do any of my things work? There we go. Let's do this angle working. How about just we click on it instead of just bumbling my way around? Clickety clickety click. Yep. Don't get cooked, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Jonathan, are you playing this weekend, man? Are you are you doing this? Let's uh, let's make it happen. This always this area always feels weird to me. Obviously, we're picking Mikey. That is, I feel like almost picking Donnie just because surely Mikey is going to be much more popular. Yeah, look at that. That guy's he's on the he's on the right track. Let's go. Let's. Why am I walking over here? I want to see if other people are playing. Maybe we can hit them up and join a team. You know, because that's so easy to do on Splatfest. Not enough people. Jason Lacey. So we'll just do a little bit of solo. I've got about an hour that we can uh, play some of this game. I'm a Mikey fanboy. I actually don't even want to leave that grouping. I, I, I just want to stay fanboy. 83! That dude is level 83. Holy crap. I think Joseph was going to be on his way in. Him and I were chatting in the Discord. Actually, speaking of that, I should put a Discord link into the chat and the show notes and everything. Make sure people can join us and have sweet hangs. Invite people. Clickety click. Um, actually, let's do that. Yeah, copied. Join us on Discord. I've been okay, man. I've been. Uh, I was recording this morning. I was recording the. Uh, E3 predictions episode for PlayStation. That's a good time. Tomorrow I am going to be recording with Bobby and Jules for Nintendo. That episode will go live on Friday. So I'm I'm pretty stoked, man. I've been I've been good. I'm um I've been trying to catch up on sleep and actually not even like really having to put in too much conscious effort into it on Discord. This is me not able to multitask. Um 
I just sort of like, I don't know what happened, but something caught up with me and I just kind of would hit the couch at about nine o'clock and just like be kind of like nodding off. And normally I like to stay up until 1130 or midnight or so. And it just was not in the cars. We all went in the same direction. Um, so after a couple nights of catching up, I feel like I'm kind of getting back into the swing of things here. So I, I feel good. Which is actually, it sort of explains a little bit of why I haven't really been streaming. Just, just like, holy crap, exhausting. I was gonna, I think it was, when the heck was it? Was it the last Splatfest, I think? I guess just the last weekend. I was gonna stream and um, I took my dog out for a walk and she came up limping a little bit. So that kind of scared me. And then I was frustrated with myself for taking her out for that jog and maybe being the cause of some some hurt and injury and then cost. So I was feeling rough that night. And I was like, I think I'm just gonna go to sleep. But she's good. Everything is, the dogs are good. Lincoln is good. Oh crap, I think I've walked into a bit of an issue here. Yeah, man, it is good. It's it's nice, I feel better. You kinda have like your ups and your downs. So you gotta, you know, appreciate the, the ups when they're there and just know that the downs aren't forever. Uh oh, I am getting locked on. Is this even a place I want to be in? Like, there's three of these dudes. Oh, took him out! Let's get out of here. Help out my friend. Maybe he can help me out a little bit. I gotta surprise him. Come on. I got you. Yeah, let's go. Uh, at least I got off my rain. Josh Stapleton is in the house. Hi, Josh. This is a rare midday uh, stream. I was just finding out if anybody else was Team Mikey. Um, which, of course, that's why we're orange, painting orange everywhere. There is, has there ever, ever been... Has there ever been a more on-the-nose Splatfest? Like, this Splatoon has already is already just a Nickelodeon type of game as it is. That thing has crazy range, dude. I feel like that's wrong. Guys, you want to know one of my, my Nintendo predictions? Don't tell Bobby. But I will be airing uh, that episode, like I said, on Friday. But I've got a really good one. I think I'd like to predict what the the announcement that's supposed to shock the world. I think it's um, I think it's going to be three teams. Three team mode. You're going to have four versus four versus four. And it's going to be amazing. It could even be three versus three versus three. But that would shock me, and I think that would be so interesting. Like, instead of, I feel like that would be their take on Battle Royale <laughs> for some reason. Not that that really has anything to do with it, but instead of doing Battle Royale, I feel like they could change up this game enough. And maybe part of the way you do, what is it, the Octolings that are coming in? In the new DLC? Like, maybe that's how they can make bigger maps too. Yeah, you're right. Oh, we killed. We did good that time. That time. This is my first match. I don't know why. It just didn't feel that good. It didn't feel that good. Hey, Rybo, are you playing, man? Okay. I don't even know why this gets me so much. Like, I feel... I put Splatoon away basically as soon as the Splatfest is over, but like, don't you play these things so that you, you get some stuff after the fact? But I just doesn't, doesn't matter, doesn't register. There's a whole crap ton of Weed Gamer cast coming at you guys. It's all in the bank, it's all here. I'm staring at the, oh actually I could probably do, um, could probably drag and drop a little something something in there. How have you guys all been? I, I'm surprised that not more people are um are playing this right now actually that's just it like is maybe that's josh that it's just a good excuse it's just a, a good enough reason i guess that's a wave file that's an mp3 file that's a that file drag it in there and let it do its thing it's good to have hangs with you guys let's go i've got about 45 minutes until my parents show up and or link wakes up so we'll put you guys can place your bets in the chat. What is gonna happen first? Is Link gonna wake up? <laughs> or are my parents gonna show up and then wake up Link? Cause 
The dog sure as hell won't stay quiet as soon as somebody comes to the door, and that's awesome. That doesn't drive me nuts at all. Who's excited for Bobby to come back? I've been talking to him a lot this week, and I know he's super pumped. The Guru, finally back. By the time he does come back, it'll feel like he was never gone. But it's been a while. While he's been gone, I think people have missed him quite a bit. I know even just for him to get settled back into his life and stuff, it's easier for us to touch base, so that's been awesome. It just all comes back around, man. I think we got these dudes hemmed in, man. Holy crap. What else do we got? I feel like this is exactly when you, you get a little cocky and you and they sneak in around you. So we're not going to let that happen. Although that doesn't seem to be the case. What about... Oh, crap. Did we, did we get him? Oh, I didn't see that guy. Bobby's hype train. I was watching... There's a documentary on Netflix about... Which is hilarious that it's even a documentary, but it's a Bill Nye... It's called Bill Nye Science Guy. And it, it does seem to be a little, like, uh, ego-stroking. Like, look how awesome I am, a documentary about me. But um, there's a part in it where him and Bill Nye and his brother are playing with their train set. And it reminded me that I can't wait to build a train set for Lincoln, but then tape a picture of, of Bobby and make it the, the guru hype train. And he'll have no idea what's going on, but it'll be entertaining for me. And it's the little things like that, you guys. It's the little things in life that bring us joy and make <laughs> life worth living. Oh crap, oh crap, I don't wanna die with this guy. Speaking of life worth living. Who is it? Charizard? I am all set. Okay, so Mother's Day kinda got all changed up, man. Um, Chelsea was supposed to go to Regina this morning. So my plan was actually to be playing this a whole lot more. So Lincoln and her were going to be gone. But her mom canceled the trip. Well, at least leaving today. Um, they're supposed to leave this morning. And it looks like they're not going to leave until tomorrow. So I had already done kind of Mother's Day with Chelsea yesterday. Just a little bit. Like I just got her a little something something. Um, but tomorrow I will be going to Adventures with my mom. So I'm looking forward to that. And it looks like they're going to be coming over. They're supposed to come over anyways, even when Chelsea was going to be away. And we're going to get them all set up on this. It's time for them to get new phones. My parents, both my parents. So we're going to have some sweet hangs. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I'm so glad Canada has the names, most of the names that it has. Medicine Hat. And Moose Jaw. And... I mean, most of the names are kind of silly. What, what's a Calgary? What, what the heck? Sorry, Ryba. <laughs> Hey, we won again. Hey, Nintendo Dad Zacko is playing this. I wonder if he is smart enough to pick Don. I feel like for some reason he, uh, Zacko picked Donatello. What do you guys think of the the Switch Online stuff? I don't know if I've been able to. Prince Albert might be the winner. <laughs> I have a feeling that they named it before it became that other thing. Although, I wouldn't put it past Canada to just name it after an old genitalia piercing. Because why not? Might even be doing some predictions with uh, Nathan Thomas on the state of the Xbox empire on the old PSVG network. Um, I don't know if you guys subscribe to PSVG, the network, but you pretty much get from one feed, you get, gosh, it's gotta be a show a day. And I'm really loving it. I've uh, also not, I mean, it's sort of related, but not really. Um, I've discovered the sweet spot on my podcast because I listen to just a ton of podcasts. I have a really hard time keeping up with everything, but I found this sweet spot with my with my app. You can you can adjust the speed and then you can also do like I think it's called like smart speed or something like that. What do they call this thing? Where it actually like reduces it. yeah, it's called smart speed. It shortens the shortens the silences in between. So it kind of just like makes them a little tighter, a little easier to listen to, a little not easier, but it, it makes them faster to get through. And I've tried this before but it was always too fast. I was always maybe trying to overdo it. I'm like, well, if this thing doesn't make an hour podcast into 14 minutes, then it's not worth it. But that doesn't really make it into a listenable podcast. So I've been tweaking that a little bit, and I think I found the, the, the right spot 
where to, where to set it all. It's listenable and I'm getting through, I'm just powering through podcasts and it has been awesome. And so now instead of like looking at shows that are 45 minutes, or sorry, two hours and 45 minutes long, like these marathon shows that some of these guys do, especially like Married to the Games and Nintendo Dads and stuff and just going like, well, there's a week. Like some of these times it would take me just forever to get through. I can now look at some of my favorite shows and, and look forward to them again. And that, I mean, that's the reason why we all started listening to podcasts because they're just so much fun and that excitement that when a new episode drops, it shouldn't feel like a burden. And I had gotten to the point where some sometimes it would just be like, oh, I'm never going to get through this. I didn't feel good looking at my podcast feed. And now I'm back. I've gotten through a bunch of stuff. And then when a new one drops, it's not like adding to the back. Oh, oh that's mine. Um, it's not adding to the backlog of stuff. So I'm feeling good about that, man. Holy crap. The owl is back. Hey, owl. I've been meaning to, I'm glad you're here. What's going on in Stardew Valley, man? Are you playing the old uh, the multiplayer? Uh, Jonathan, you're interested in the in the Switch stuff, Switch Online. Yeah, I mean it's it'll be interesting to see. I'm not convinced exactly that Switch Online means a better app. I feel like, for the most part, honestly, what we have is probably pretty much what we'll get. But we'll see. They have they have a lot of features that they need to add to that. I, I'm pretty sure Mr. Paddywagon, Nintendo Talk, was talking a lot about some of the things that he wants out of that. Also. Uh, Phil Mewson had some really good points on NBC last week speaking of all the catching up on all the shows See and actually that's another thing. I won't be able to do that on YouTube shows. So guys get get all your shows On uh, on iTunes dang it. I actually can't believe how is winter treating you? <laughs> oh and in Stardew. I thought you were making a Canada joke uh, Winter's treating me. Okay. I need to I need to get back to it. You know what I did? I don't know if you, uh, I think you were here owl uh, I was playing Tropical Freeze actually on my Wii U, which is why this actually took me just a couple extra minutes to get set up today because I was looking for my, I have one HDMI cord that obviously goes into my game capture card and I couldn't find it. I was like, what the heck, where the, like, I was looking at my Xbox over here, I was looking at my Switch, I'm like, where? And then I forgot, of course, it's attached to my Wii U because that's silly, because I played my Wii U <laughs> and man. Holding that controller just it just doesn't feel good. It's not right. The multiplayer's in beta. I wonder can you even do that on Switch? Can you do beta multiplayer on Switch? Do they do betas on, on Switch? I gotta tell you guys, I'm stoked though about the um, the NES stuff with the online business and for one reason and one reason only. I got a good points there, 1989, all those guys did better. Uh, one reason is uh, Dr. Mario, of course. Can't wait to play Dr. Mario. That, like, honestly, that's it. Although, Super Mario 3, like, multiplayer would be amazing. That would be so much fun. Let's just check the Discord real quick, just to see if uh, anybody wants to join up and play. Are you guys wanting to play? Is anybody, is anybody, um, nobody's, nobody's there. What are you guys up to this Saturday? What's happening today? I have a, a quick window here where I can game a little bit. Let me see how this podcast thing is coming together. Let's uh, let's see if we can just do that little little edit. One of these days, I feel like it would be the most boring stream ever, but I would... Uh... Oh man, that's a crazy tattoo, Joel. I feel like I've seen that before. Ninja Turtles are life. Joel, you've got it. That's awesome, dude. I always want to get a tattoo, actually. I just don't know what to get. I wanted to. I also feel like I don't have the right like arms. I feel like you need like good body composition and, and tone and stuff for that to really work. Um, but one of the bore, one of the most boring streams ever would be watching me edit <laughs> the podcast and putting it all together, all the background stuff that nobody ever sees, all the uh, creating thumbnails and writing up descriptions and just all the stuff that happens after you stop recording. Miss my Saturday folding laundry, living the dream. Indeed. I, my uh, Chelsea, I don't think trust me to fold laundry. Um, and as she shouldn't it's a funny thing that happens guys when you get married you realize how horrible you are at folding stuff there's and there yes there is <laughs> a wrong way to fold towels especially and once you know the right way you realize man i was, I was a neanderthal before folding these things just in half gosh about fold them in threes whatever that means so 
I don't know what you guys, what do you guys pick in your, in your loadouts? I'm pretty locked in on this one, to be honest. I don't really like changing things up. I think I made it to, I want to say level 20. I don't even know what level I am right now. But I, I want to say I got up like pretty far using just the original Blaster Jr. or whatever. Splat, Splat Jr. Something or other. The first one. You guys know what I'm saying. Because you're smarter than me. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Jonathan. There's definitely a wrong way, man. Uh, and it's wrong mainly because of how it all stacks up in your closet. So if everything's stacking up right, you're probably on the right track. And I also say that jokingly. I, on, I don't know if necessarily it's a wrong way, but somebody will, will probably tell you that it's wrong. <laughs> that's what happened to me. I thought I was really good at laundry. Turns out, no. Nah. You know, that's that's the dream that we can all live to is uh, one day we're going to get happily married and move in with a, a lady that we love very much, or man, and then discover that all the things that we've taught ourselves, the, the, the way that we've been living and the habits and the way that we get through our routine, all wrong. All wrong. <laughs> Start over. Forget everything you know. Just like Blops. Chelsea's in the other room, but I think that she's watching something on Netflix while she edits some photography. I hope to have something cool to announce to you guys. Oh, I did not see that coming. Oh, yeah, that guy definitely got the jump on me. Definitely, definitely got the jump on me. Brandon. Brandon the lady? Was that a... How do you do that? How do you get symbols on there? What do you guys think? I was talking a, a minute ago about the uh, the announcement that's supposed to shock the world. What do you guys think that it's going to be? I'm sorry that if, if some of you said and I missed it. You know who's awesome at checking chat and playing is Joe After Work. Joe After Work is amazing at that. This is a little... I don't know if... Uh, I haven't seen him play this. But he's playing Shantae, which I want to change my, my Twitter name to. Sean, Shantae. And he was like just playing, reading the chat, like keeping up and everything. He was even talking hockey. Very impressed. Dang it! Oh! Whole lot of nothing? You think that's what the uh, Battle Royale mode, yeah? I don't, I don't know, man. I think that's too easy. And Nintendo doesn't really do that. Something that would shock the world. What, like, what do people even... Maybe that would shock the world, just because we keep saying that Nintendo would never do that. I mean, that's that's kind of it, Josh. It was just saying, oh, that's not good for us. They were just saying they're going to make an announcement that's going to shock the world. So there's not really much else to it. And that's going to happen on June 9th, I think they said. Hmm. Well, I can't say that... Nobody can say I didn't try on that one. I would have really liked to get a couple more points, so... Want to get out of this fiend? I don't like being a fiend. I think I do want to get back into Donkey Kong though, in a little bit. It's good to have it here. I could just fire it up right now. I actually just play it on the tablet in between matches. Just flip back and forth. You can definitely notice the difference, so that it's on a on an older system. The graphics, you guys. The graphics are not not as good. Okay, back to the editing the podcast stream. Where are we at? Uh, did that actually sound? You guys want to hear? You guys want to hear just a quick? <laughs> Nothing is lined up, so let's just see. Let's hear what, what this sounds like. Really, really, just hoping here we're gonna have an put a title or anything like that. So thank you. And it continued that for what? That's not too bad. That's not too okay. We gotta. I gotta put a third track in there. Actually, maybe do I have time to do that? Um. Yes. Okay, so that's going to go. Let me get the chat back. Hi, guys. I'm back. Did I just throw a grenade by accident? I just used up a ton of my ink. I slipped. I'm still using these uh, wired controllers, which I don't... They don't have... <clears throat> they don't have any rumble. Excuse me. So you don't... I don't know. It's weird because obviously... Hey, Johnny's playing Splatoon. Johnny Casino. Maybe if Johnny Casino was in the chat, and then we could play and chat, and and he would know. Oh my goodness, that guy shot me right in the space, right in the face. Uh, that was um, that was Nikki previously, Nikki Powell, Harley Quinn 103 on Twitter. Uh, that was the PlayStation predictions. And for Nintendo, I don't know Josh if you were here, but I was saying um, Jules and Bobby. 
doing Nintendo predictions. And honestly, if it was like really anybody else other than those guys, I, I probably would. Um, and if I had, I'm better with two guests. I just found out. Um, that might be me. What might be you? Oh, Johnny. Oh, was it? I did just take a quick peek. Oh, that probably is you. That actually makes more sense. If we can get four people playing Team Mikey, I got a, about another half an hour. Oh, goodness gracious. That... We're not doing so good, you guys. Okay. Oh, that guy was just hiding. Son of a beasting. Oh, he got both of us. Oh, Andrew is God, apparently. But I'm loving the Nintendo Shack. I don't know if you guys are listening to that these days. Donnie and Caro. They, like, they're true, true, like, in their blood Nintendo fans. And it's so good to hear them back and forth. Just, like, getting excited about things that only true, true Nintendo fans get excited about. A deep, deep knowledge base on those two guys. Uh, guys, people. You think he knows I'm still here? Oh, he does know. Ah, uh, that's because he's God. Ah, <sighs> capital God too. Capital G O D. This is not. No, this is real bad. I'm not. I'm not doing so good this round. I don't feel. I don't feel like I've got a groove on this map right now. I feel like I'm just going right back in the same place that he was before. He's probably gonna come back and kill me any moment. Are we making a comeback here? I got your back. Let's go. Come on! Oh, do you get both of us? No! Just doing the same thing over and over again? Thanks, thanks, Rybo. It's just going back for that same old SmackDown, just for some reason. Yeah, I don't think that... I don't think it worked. I don't think that tactic was, was bound to work at all. Hey, Rybo, it was awesome. My Adobe Premiere just decided to switch its media caching whenever it, like, saves the preview files and all that stuff. It just uh, decided to change the location of that to my SSD. So in a, in a matter of a day and editing all these shows and stuff, uh, because typically a podcast recorded in video form is about three gigs and then all the preview files and everything, uh, in a matter of a day, filled up my SSD. So that was sweet and audacity was crashing and everything that like runs off of that ssd uh was like hey man what are you what are you doing to me there's no memory left so i didn't know until he finally gave me a, a pop-up said there's no memory on the local disc and i was like that shouldn't happen and then i solved it all by myself i, I felt very very smart and i'm like i gotta tell ribo about that that's not that not that big a deal oh did the spinner drop off causing it to revert. I don't even know what that means. So, no. I don't know what a spinner is. Ba -ba -bow, ba -ba -bow. Let's see. Oh, I'm probably gonna get a communication error if I go back out into the, the menu and see friends online. What is the, I haven't even fired up my Switch app in forever. Let's see. There's you guys, see? There's you. Oh, there it is. Okay. Is this gonna tell me who's online of my friends who's actually playing Splatoon? Is that is that a thing? My stats, home. Uh, can I click on Splatfest? Oh, actually, look at that. Donatello, way more people as Donatello. I'm shocked on my friends list. I just had a quick look. Okay, new map. I don't know why I always go to the right, but that seems to be a thing. Let's uh, let's go. You know, I, I'm actually being. I feel slow. I need to. I need to be a little quicker. I just remembered how Bobby would play this, and he he was just like pop in and out. Also, Jason Lacey and Eric Plunk. I gotta play like the masters, not not like me. I can't play like me because me is bad. But now I'm all alone, and I can splat all I want. I want to tell you guys all the predictions that I made for Sony. Not that you care because you're here watching Nintendo. 
but I was pretty excited. I was worried. Mainly, I was I was mostly excited because of how bad I thought it was going to be, and then it turned out to be amazing. Um, Mr. Bad Bit, why are you retired? Why? What happened? You have to work in... F I, I also have a similar time frame, Dave. Actually, I've got about 24 minutes. That's if things go exactly to plan. Not a whole heck of a lot of time, but we do what we can. And Joseph just asked. I wasn't even going to play this. I was playing um, I was playing State of Decay on Xbox. But I can't talk about much more than that. I'll be streaming that starting Monday, right after If We Ran Nintendo. So if you guys are curious about State of Decay, I'll be able to show you and talk about it. Um, I guess we're not, we're not allowed to do recommendations until Thursday. So the Xbox Drive will feature more of a review type of conversation so that's fun it's gonna be a busy week man e3's right around the corner doing those predictions playing some state of decay playing some of this hanging out with friends hanging out with my parents that's it <laughs> oh that was a good move oh i almost had him that was like ooh. i'm just gonna jump over here but lolo had me he tracked me the whole way or she I can't wait to be right about the, the three-way... Wait, is that what they want to call it? This, this Splatoon three-way? Mark my words, guys. That's what it's going to be. Three, three versus three versus three, or four versus four versus four. It could totally change... Damn it! It could totally change Splatfest. Mm. Thanks, Josh. I always, it's, it's funny because I, we've, I've always done the We The Gamer cast predictions at this time of year, and it always felt early. But this year, it doesn't feel, oh, I think we got this one. It doesn't feel early this year. All the leaks are happening sooner and sooner. Everybody else is doing predictions at about the same time. So everybody's kind of adjusting. Ribo, man, wouldn't that be amazing? That's the kind of thing that like, I mean, not that anybody's really attacking this game for being too similar to the first one anymore. I think that we've we've gone away from that. But if they add this, that is the type of thing that just kind of like puts that to bed if it if it exists at all. Make sure to ask off for Nintendo's E3 stuff, dude. That would be incredible. I, Chelsea and I are going to be away the last week of May, going in actually going into the first week of June. So unfortunately, I can't really ask off anything after that. Um, but that Monday. I wonder if I wonder if I can do that. I wonder maybe just one extra day, because I do want to see. I'm I'm. What is the word? I, I am curious, but like. Almost in a sick sense of, not six like a sick like it's almost twisted. I have a twisted sense of curiosity for here it is, um, for Square Enix. I'm very curious what they're gonna do because I don't know if the last time you guys seen a Square Enix E3. If you can call it a press conference, it, it always looks like it's being done in like the janitor's closet or just like a spare room that they were able to get a couple tables and make a presentation behind one of the hotel podiums. But it's not good. Like they are not, they're not like Ubisoft. Like they don't have, they're not going to have Drake dancing. Although that would be amazing if this year Drake dances. Um, that's something that we should probably predict in the third party stuff. Very cool episode coming for... I have, I have people lined up for the third party one, but that's not happening until next week, and it's still... One of the people has a legit chance of, unfortunately, having to reschedule. But I'm, I've got my fingers crossed that she will not do that, and that everything will work out, because that would be awesome. But those ones are always interesting, because, like... And actually, they're the most freeing, I feel. Because... Sony especially is it seems like they're kind of locked in Xbox pretty locked in we know well or at least we think we know what's happening this year uh, Nintendo Possibly Animal Crossing like the, the, I feel like there's just so many Fran only so many franchises that you can go through before you start going like I think I've got everything that I want from everybody right now I just want to get our home base kind of covered here and if this guy could stop is that the best special or whatever you like you call it is that the best one? I feel like it might be. I don't like... I wonder what gun is with that. What guns can use? See, 
That was an incredible shot. I'm not even mad. Oh boy. Splatoon deathmatch. <laughs> it's going to be an anime. I did hear you say that, Patty Wagon. Hey, when's the next Bargain Bros? I must have it in my life. That should be that should be an anime. If you guys could do a Bargain Bros in the style of an anime, where you just, you know, you do the face and everything is like over exaggerated and then one of you whoever loses, you cry waterfalls. That would be that would be great. I would really like that a lot. And you could have a really sweet song. That guy is really good. The fi is it every 15th? Is that the deal? Or is it like Mega Dads? Battle of Trash. Bargain Bros anime would be like the next Dragon Ball. It'd be the new gateway into anime that, that anime's been waiting for since forever. Oh man, I even like... I heard it hit. That sound effect was obviously different hitting a person, but it just didn't, just didn't click for me. Jam's game gonna be tough to beat. Do we know what it is? When did they announce that? When did you guys, when did you guys talk about that? When is Three Bit Losers gonna be on iTunes? That's what I ask. Also, Planet and Nintendo guys, come on. I need podcasts. I can't, I can't, I can't do YouTube. I'm sorry. I do YouTube for the people who like the YouTube, and I know there's a lot of people who like the YouTube, but for, for me, then my show's gotta be in my on my phone, and we don't get, I, I don't think it really exists here. I, I haven't seen it. Unlimited data, not happening. So I'm not gonna be on the road driving. Oh, he knew exactly what I was doing. <sighs> no, there's no way. Nope. A lot of missed little little spots in the back of our base there, guys. We missed it. <laughs> Can't wait to see that, Patrick. <laughs> That's the, you guys are so freaking funny, man. Just the way that it goes back and forth. It's so good. I know, but what else is new? Hey, unlocking stuff. That's neat. I got sticky shoes. I think that's what that means. You know, that was the stuff in there. Should we have another peek at the... Now there's now there's three tracks that have nothing to do with each other. They're all laid on top of each other. What does this sound like? That's hardware yeah. dates, yeah, but they it. don't always I do think, that. Uh, mm -hmm. Yep, that's what that, that's what that sounds like. So for those of you who are just joining, in between matches, I'm, I'm just tweaking the uh, E3 predictions episode for, uh, for Sony. Let's see. I can't even like... Uh, what is that? Desktop. What does that button do? I don't even know what that does. What is that? Oh, audio, of course. You guys probably heard that click on and off. Um, YouTube? There's that. Mm, what's that? Oh, there's that. What do these buttons all do? I put all those buttons over the, over the years and I've, I've unlocked or I've taken them off and we just get to see what they do. That's fun. Probably not for everybody though. Uh, gotta get ready for work. Oh no! Oh, is it too late to call in sick? I don't think it's too late. Gotta get this part right here. Gotta get all the points. Easy points right here. Paint your base, paint your base. Do, 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 do. See, look, I'm, I'm slow. I feel slow. Just gotta get up and go. Feeling sluggish. How amazing would it be if my parents just showed up and then they like walked in on the stream? You guys can meet my parents. Although there's no real oh oh look at that! I really thought that was not gonna work. I hit that guy. <laughs> Calling sick next time. I used to call him sick a lot, man. Like for jobs, it didn't matter. No good. <laughs> Josh, they'll like you. Especially you. So Josh, do you have like your phone just like propped up on like a cabinet or something as you're folding laundry? Is that still happening? Why does laundry take so long? How is there not a faster way to do laundry? How have how have laundry machines not gotten quicker at doing our laundry for us? How have dryers not found a way to not shrink our clothes? These are the questions. If, if only 
the innovation that we see in video games was what we experienced in the rest of our daily life. Mother, I even saw it coming. I think those are all solid questions, Ribo. Seriously, why does why does laundry take so long? How is there not like a super turbocharged washing machine that you can do your laundry in no time? You know where that's gonna show up? First, it's gonna show up in uh, in a laundromat. Laundromat could uh, could profit on that pretty good. Fold on the couch. Don't have four kids laundry and dishes in there. Oh my god, I know, man. Two kids, it's just like should be enough, right? two enough can we talk about that for a second i'm nervous too though why do i go in the middle i don't want i don't care about owning the middle it doesn't matter to me i'm not territorial like that maybe this is the wrong game for me if that's the case but i just want to kill everybody and win but i'm not territorial get these little spots that probably don't look at my score my score sucks can you even see it? You can see it. That score sucks ass. That guy's distracted. Get him! How? Ugh, so frustrating. Two sounds great if we ran laundry. That's right. We would have better laundry machines. Andy Penizik is playing Splatoon right now, you guys. That round sucked ass. That sucked. No, I don't think that's it. I don't know what it is. Purple just seems to dominate there. But we did it. We did it. You know, the number lock light doesn't show up. Why not? Settings. Oh yeah, forgot to hit that. I'm just curious why, there we go. For some reason, like the hotkeys just like, they start working and then they stop working and they start working and they stop working and they start working and they stop working and it fades here and it clicks there and it fades, but not fading back and forth. I hope you guys enjoy that. I like it a lot. I'm wondering if anybody watches Joe After Work, he does the whole thing like with his, like he's up here and he's down there. Is that a one button push and then it starts to switch him all over the place? Cause I feel like it might be. That is such a great gag, gag that he's got. I want to just steal it. But instead, we'll do this, and back here, and then do this, and back here. And then of course, oh, we lost, so that's, that's this one. He's a stream deck, mmm. Is that why, is it, I feel like there's probably still a way to automate that with OBS. Hmm, is that an, that's the Elgato thing, right? Like that's what comes with the Elgato. I just don't like all of that. <laughs> a stream patio. <laughs> Joseph, we need to work on your stream setup. I will help you with OBS. That's all I know. I'm not an expert. Rabo's the expert, of course. And between the two of us, I think we can get you up to speed. We should probably... <laughs> this is out of nowhere. Probably not appropriate to bring up. But, Joseph, we should probably start planning our Patreon birthday. It's coming up. Make us better day. Here's, why don't we, why don't we open it up to everybody? Here's what I was thinking. Hopefully, Joseph, you're okay with this. Because I guess if it doesn't happen, then like, whatever. I was thinking that Make Us Better and the community is awesome. And the whole reason, the whole, like, vision behind it, the whole, everybody's in it together, we're better together, all that stuff. Celebrating community, make us better is, is collective. It's not about any singular person or thing. I was thinking, what if we had a day dedicated to the Make Us Better community and and its own content creators so that we had a 24-hour period where there was some content being broadcasted by either us, so me, Joseph, Mark from Warp Whistle, or the guys from Nintendo Nostalgia. Uh, and if it's not us, like maybe we, we come on every couple hours. But in between that, we have people from the community do their own streams. So like 3-Bit Losers could have a show, or maybe they do a, a Payday Brotherhood stream for a couple hours, and everybody, like the, the best thing would be is that the entire community in the Make Us Better group 
is aware of it and we all promote it and we're all like okay now this is happening everybody go check that out and it's because we're all around the world got people in the uk and stuff um we we actually maybe could do the round the clock thing it would be awesome to have people from australia to help us out as well my boy seamus mullins and Na oh no he's right on my asshole right up in there quick quick like a bee i don't know what would you guys think of that i think that, that would be cool what about another in oh i looked over and i just look at all these walls in my face why am I shooting those? That seems like a waste, and there's another grenade. I've been killed by a lot of grenades, and there's this dude hiding around the corner. I'm sorry, Josh. I actually... I'm blanking. Indie, indie game night. What did we do? I don't know what you mean. Again, just, just playing like complete crap here. Just, just not good. 700. This is why you're the idea, man. You like it, Rybo? I'd like to, I'd like to have, especially like the, the Brotherhood thing, I think would be awesome. And the best thing, the whole reason I feel excited about this is because it gets the entire community like talking about all, everybody's stuff all at once. Like we can all like give thumbs up, speaking of new ideas, remind me to talk with you and Joseph. Ooh, Patty Wagon. How's that? Hey, how's this for something funny? My sister can't can't wink, so she does. She like has to put her whole face into it. And it looks more like this. It's like both eyes, like pretty funny. I have a feeling as I'm aging, like I'm getting like these, I'm getting the laugh lines and like all of this, like the tired eyes and everything. But honestly, like as long as my eyes aren't red, I'm okay with this. Also, I look like Millhouse when I take off my glasses. Like it sort of is this weird, like they just squint. And uh, it also reminds me of the voice of Aladdin dropping his name. Can't remember what it is. Uh, Gilbert Gottfried. I'm not going to do that voice because that will surely wake up Lincoln. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, Rybo. You're the best, man. Oh, that's funny. So, yeah. This, uh, the, old, the bags under the eyes are happening. But it's kind of like this. It, it's not too bad. Could be worse. As I squint, I don't know. Some people, there's some some older dudes who uh, who pull it off somehow. Like the giant bags, it's like it just looks. It's just part of their character. One twenty four. Okay, so holy crap, we've got. You know, I was right about Zach. Um, Nintendo dads, Zach Erickson. Also, Andy Penizik chose Donatello. So did Marty Estes, and of course, Eric Plunk, all on the wrong side. Johnny, my boy, Jonathan Brown, picked the right team. Team Mikey. Who the hell? You know what, though? It is it is tough. This one is a little tougher than the last one. Uh, the obvious correct choice last week was, was Leo, obviously. But Raph won, so... The thing is, that no matter what happens this week, my, the choice is clear. Anybody but Raph. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, I tried to get away. Tried to get away. Yeah, some guys have giant, giant bags. Giant sacks under their eyes. I don't know about you guys, but here in Canada, dollar days are back at McDonald's, so iced coffees for everybody. I'm reducing my Splenda in cake for anybody who cares. From three down to two. That's healthy living. I can't wait. Oh man, I died again, you guys. How do we feel about the music in Splatoon 2? Was it better in Splatoon 1? Is it the same? <laughs> do I even know what I'm talking about? Oh! Guys, I almost forgot, speaking of announcements and E3 and gaming and everything, it's sort of not related at all, but I guess related to Splatoon, um, we have a crazy announcement coming for Ifri and Nintendo. Actually, in the next month, you're going to hear two crazy announcements for Ifri and Nintendo. Uh, but the first one, we're going to tease, you're going to know by May 21st, you'll know exactly what the very first one is. And then I still have some details to work out for the second one. So we'll see, where did this guy come from? Where'd he go? 
Oh no! No, guys! As a dweeb Donnie. Would normally be my choice, but as a kid, as Mikey all day. Yeah, that was that's the thing, is Mikey is the nostalgia hit for me. Like he was absolutely the first one. Even before like I started to even recognize that the turtles were different. Like, I don't know about you guys, but I was in I was in kindergarten when the turtles like really, really got big. And um, I still remember to this day, there was this thing back in kindergarten where uh, you'd make a kite with your dad. It was this big, it was actually an evening thing where all the where all the kids and their dads would make a kite. And it was just like a couple of twigs and sticks and stuff and some some light paper and some string, just just some hodgepodge kind of, kind of kite thing. And I remember making mine with my dad and as they were, you got to design everything, you could draw on it and stuff. And I remember the teacher asking me, like, what am I going to put on it? And her going, like, let me guess. And we both said at the same time, like, of course, Ninja Turtles. And when I did mine, it wasn't, I think my dad had a meeting or something that, like, he was part of the Wolverine Club and stuff. So I didn't actually get to do it with everybody else. Um, I did mine, like, right after school, like, the next day or later on that week. And so we were making it, and it was like, it was in that moment that I realized that this thing that I loved was that the same thing that everybody else loved. It was that it's such a weird memory. It was just like that slice of that afternoon that is in my mind. I don't remember really much else about it, but I remember choosing Michelangelo was going to be on there. I remember seeing the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles live concert. <laughs> that is weird, dude. That would just be like googly eyes and rubber suits. That would be awesome if you had the tape. I Speaking of tapes, um, we used to do backyard wrestling with neighbor Matt. I can't, I don't know if I've told you guys this before, but we used to do like backyard wrestling and just like the dumbest stuff, like stuff you should never do, all the things they tell you not to do. Jumping off garages and setting up tables and stuff and smash each other through it. And um, all that was on tape. We had like this weird, um, what the heck were those tapes called? Like mini eight or something like that? DV, mini DV tapes, something like that. I think there was even one before that mini DV. And um, yeah, we'd smash each other through tables and stuff. But those those tapes are gone. We even like dubbed it over with them um, because we had we had this way of connecting it all from the, the camcorder, and then we would also have um, like the the cassette, like my, my parents' like stereo system. And we would wire it a lot like what we're doing here. We would wire everything into the VCR so that the left channel was the camcorder audio, so you'd get like all the wrestling stuff. And the right channel was from the cassette, which was playing Metallica. <laughs> So we had like we had like Orion from Master of Puppets playing over top of our wrestling matches, and those are definitely taped over. Like that was the thing about VHS back in the day. You had to like I don't know if you guys remember. You remember the little tab on a tape that if you broke it off, then you wouldn't you couldn't tape over anything. It wouldn't allow you to record on it, which I think is just so weird. Such a oh my god! I get one shot by Bobby. Of course I did. I remember. You remember tapes? You guys remember VHS? I remember. But then I don't know if anybody else did this. We used to tape over it. Like, we used to take, like, masking tape and put it over top of that little gap that you'd create. When you, when you remove that little tab, you could put it back. Like, maybe you go, like, well, maybe I do want to record over this. Oh, man. I'm just not... David, you got me. Okay, so now we're into overtime. We are officially into overtime. It is 1.30 where I'm at. I'm expecting Lincoln neither to wake up or my parents to show up. But we'll see. I've had a lovely time. I don't know about you guys, but I've had a, I've had a great time. I've sucked, but that's okay. All that matters is if you have fun and you win. Right? I think that's how it goes. Where, uh, where are these guys hiding? Oh, maybe we're doing good this round. Oh, oh, what's happening? Well, I was probably just shooting at my own dudes. I'm getting old, guys. Didn't you see my eyes before? Can't see nothing. Can't hear nothing. Who's this dude? Man, man, I don't even deserve that. I don't, uh, that was bad. Maybe I'm going to just go ahead and blame it on the controller. It's stuck on something. Okay, purple. I'm coming for you. Oh, we still got a minute left. It, it, this could still be anybody's game. Where are these dudes? I don't have good grenades with this gun. That's the only thing. I can't. I don't have like a devastating attack at all. Not even. Not the special. 
the um, the rain is really oh I had it David you eluded me and as of course as soon as I get my special I like that just to gain points which it doesn't really turn the tide I don't think in terms of territory and all that but it, it feels good to see your your score just kind of like dribble up there but again it doesn't really do I want to get to the top here do I want to see what's happening do we care now about the center? I didn't care before. I think we won this. Okay, as long as I get over 900, I'm generally pretty happy. And we can dribble this 960, nine something. Bam, 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 bam. I think we won again. I gotta have my Diet Pepsi with playing Splatoon on the YouTube. Mm. How could I forget? Guys, let me know if you have other victory scenes that I could use other than that. What are what are some classic victory music, victory clips? I don't know. Uh, that was that's like the one that uh, always comes to mind. I used to sing it when I was changed Lincoln's diaper. Like when we're all done, I'd wrap it all up and it'd be like, doo, 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 and he would just smile and laugh. And I'm like, you're such a geek, Lincoln. Oh, come on, Jonathan. It doesn't have to top it. It could be something else just to mix up a little bit. I'm trying to think though, like the end of like a Mario level or something like that. Mario's gotta have, like he's got like the classic um, dead sound, which I could which I could do that. Do, 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 Boop 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 do 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 Hey Joseph, nobody gives a crap about that game. I have a great prediction on the PlayStation prediction show for with, with, uh, for Fortnite. I hope you like it. Pretty proud of it. Tomorrow, recording with Bobby and Jules. Next week, recording with two secret people. Yesterday, uh, you guys have to listen. Even if you don't like Xbox, you have to listen to the Xbox one. Um, I had Dave on. And I don't know if you know this about Dave, if you listen to the Xbox drive. He doesn't He doesn't really care about anything. He doesn't care about the news or anything like that. So, uh, so his predictions are... He knows that about himself. And his predictions are hilarious and awesome. And you should tune in just for that. Uh, we're all going to get big fat zeros on it anyways. None of us really know what we're talking about. And Dave embraces that a little bit more loudly and obviously. Then uh, he's right up there. He's got the advantage of height. He looked like a bat as he did that. Get out of here. Oh, this is a battle that I've lost. I haven't won any one of those one-on-one. -on -one. Yes. Yes. Oh, I just realized I can do something. I gotta, I gotta make a change. I gotta make that change. I'm looking at the man in the mirror. Oh, I'm streaming. I'm asking him to change his ways. And I don't know what the next line is. Nobody knows what he's actually saying most of the time. Oh, I got the one, dude. I'm recording with Kyle next week, so take that. Why did I just start singing Michael Jackson? Rest in peace. Jamona. I like to play Michael Jackson for, for Lincoln. I remember my Michael Jackson tapes that actually they weren't even really ours. We totally bootlegged them. Oh, I had to jump on him! Ooh. Oh, he lined that up so good. My parents will be here any minute, my wife says. Okay, we got one minute left of this round. And then we'll shut it down. And then I think I will play some more, possibly tonight. I'm going to be talking to Nathan Thomas about possibly doing more predictions. Uh, I might need some help from people, though. <laughs> Running out of predictions. Need more, need more Xbox predictions. Surely after doing all these shows, I'll get something right. Chelsea, if you're in the chat, I got you. 30 seconds left, and I'll be right with you. 
But if you're not in the chat, then everybody else knows the plan. Except you. I know that dude is here. I gotta go over here. Where'd you go? Oh, uh, that was in the wrong direction. Yeah, help my friend. Oh no! Where'd he go? Yeah, we survived. We survived. I will tip. Yeah, please. Um, I have a feeling Joseph is about to be very sarcastic. Guys, we did it. Okay, so the thing that I need to do is you see the little gap there where it's black the whole time and it switches over. I need to put. Anyways, you don't need to know. I'm going to fix that. I'm going to fix it. I know how to fix it. It took me this long to fix it, but I'm going to fix it. Okay, guys, that was a lot of fun. Quick hour stream. I hope you're having a great day. Uh, why did I just say I'm going to play again? I, I just told these guys that I'm not able to play again. Can I can I leave? Is this going to be a problem for anybody? I don't want to break it for anybody. I can probably uh, remember it's all boot them PC nerds. I know what you mean. Um, can I leave? Can I just Can I just quit? Can I just, can I just quit? Okay. Um, goodbye guys. Thank you so much for being here. And, um, if you haven't already hit subscribe, I'm sure all of you are here are already subscribed. I uh, appreciate you being here. So I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.